Hi guys, welcome to our science class. For today, we are going to work pages number 26 and number 27. Our topic number five is all search of animals. So let's begin our class. We are going to talk about all kind of animals. You have to remember that the animals are living things, okay? Why animals are living things? Because animals born, animals grow, animals reproduce, and animals die. And you have to remember that when you have that four things in life, that becomes a living thing. Remember that us, like human beings, are living things too. Why? Because we born, because we grow, because we reproduce, and because we die. So remember, animals are living things. Where do animals live? We have a lot of animals. We have different kind of animals. But where do animals live? Let's see. There are animals that live in the air. For example, birds, okay? Eagles, toucans. All that animals live in the air because they can fly. There are animals that live in the land or in the ground. For example, the cow, the tiger, and the horse. And there are other animals that live in the water because they can swim. They are water animals. For example, the shark, the fish, and the penguin. Okay, now you are going to repeat after me, okay? Let's begin. Let's see these three pictures that we have here. We have land. Repeat after me, please. Land. Air. Air. And water water very good guys let's continue let's go to page number 26 of our book animals animals are living things okay remember animals are living things there are many different animals okay many different animals and there are many different animals that live in different places let's see for example a what is the name of that animal that we have in picture a do you remember the name Yes, it's a horse. Where does the horse live? Do you think that the horse lives in the air, in the land, or in the water? Very good. The horse lives in the ground. B. Elephant. Very good. Where does the elephant live? Very good. The elephant live in the ground or land. Very good. C. What kind of animal is C? Very good, guys. It's a rabbit. And where does the rabbit live? Very good. The rabbit lives in the land or in the ground too. Let's go with D. It's a fish. Very good. Where does the fish live? Yes, it's correct. The fish lives in the water. The fish can swim. Very good. Let's go with E. 
Yes, it's a butterfly. The butterfly flies, so it's an animal that lives in the air. Very good. Let's go with F. It's a crab. Very good. It's a crab. The crab sometimes live in the water and sometimes live in the land. Okay? So, there are some animals that live in two places at the same time. And the crab is one of them. There are crabs that live just in the water and there are crabs that live in the water and in the ground. Okay? Let's go with G. It's a polar bear. And the polar bear lives in the water and lives in the ground too. Remember that the polar bear lives in cold places like the North Pole. Okay? H. It's a wall. Very good. It's a big animal. And the wall swims. So the wolves live in the water. Very good. I. It's a spider. Very good. It's a small animal. And this animal lives in the land or ground. Very good, guys. Let's go with J. Wow. It's a lion. Very good. Where does the lion live? Yes, the lion lives in the ground. Okay, it's a cocodrile. Very good. Where does the cocodrile live? Yes, the cocodrile lives in the water. And the last one is L. What's the name of that animal? Yes, it's a giraffe. Where does the giraffe live? Yes, the giraffe lives in the ground too. Very good, guys. You did a great job. Let's go to page number 27. Classifying animals. Animals can be grouped by where they live, body coverings, what they eat, and how they move. In this case, we're talking about where animals live, okay? Where do they live? Where do animals live? Animals live in different places. Can you remember what are the three places where animals can live? Yes, animals can live in the air, animals can live in the water, and animals can live in the ground. Very good, guys. Now, you have homework, activity two. The homework you are going to do it in your notebook, okay? You are going to copy the instructions that you have and you are going to illustrate the following words, okay? You have ground, you have water, and you have air. So, please, illustrate the three words. Okay, guys, that was all for today. I will see you next time and hope you are okay. God bless you and please be happy. Thank you, guys. See you till next day. Take care. Bye.